Hello everybody, I'm Tell Sonic and welcome to Killing Floor 2 in their summer seasonal event. Airless Blunder says here. Killing Floor 2. Airless Blunder. Summer 2020 updates live. This is their Yeah. And this is also another reaction seasonal event video where I react over this trailer as I'm not only just reacting to the trailer, I'm also just trying to go check out everything in summary of everything that everything that's new part of this. This is probably my first summer seasonal event I'm checking out for the summer of 2020. Yeah, summer 2020. Summer first summer seasonal event for Killing Floor 2. Fine, I didn't want to check this out, man. So as of Monday, June 8th, 2020, 11.20 a.m. CDT, that's my time, apparently. <laughs> that's the date. Monday, June 8th, 2020 is when this event started. So, we're going to react to this video. Not only are we reacting to it, we're going in summary of checking out everything it's new. And I used to create a summary. I used to try and create an overview, a summary of everything that was new in every seasonal event I would check out. But funny thing is, that's essentially what these trailers are. These trailers are essentially like an overview. It's a summary of everything that's new. It's showcasing everything that's new for the event. And why don't I just check out this video? I mean, the summary's already been made. Why try and make one when I can just react to one by the game developers themselves? By doing that, I can check out everything that's new. So yeah, just like that. So here we go. Without further ado, let's react to this. Yeah, so another reaction deal. It's a reaction seasonal event, seasonal event video. Last one I did was Overwatches. But I've done this a lot with Killing Corn 2, but usually I'm in game. Usually I'm. I'm inside Killing Floor 2, like I'm in the game Killing Floor 2 when I do this, but this time I'm just doing the form of reaction video, rather than being inside Killing Floor 2, like the game all started out and me checking out everything. Now this time I'm doing it like this, so let's let's do this. Without further ado, yes, let's check out let's check out this trailer here. Here's it, Killing Floor 2. Uh, I need to answer. Oh, I've already been subscribed to it. So, anyway, it's Killing Floor 2 Perilous Plunder update. Let's check out the trailer for there a bit. Let's check out the seasonal event for this event. Summer seasonal event. Here we go. Let's do this. Ooh. Woohoo! There it is. Tripwire. Ooh. Look at pirate hats and shits. Whoa, Bob Barrelhead. Oh, look at God. Look at these skins. Bearded skull. A shark head. I got to do the pearless thunder. Ah, awesome. Ah, they're just charging after you. Oh snap, ooh, look at that blunderbuss. Nice new weapon. Oh snap. Oh, 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 I love it. I love that weapon. Ah! Ooh, what? Look at the Glock without the riot shield. That's awesome. I like those new weapons already. <gasps> A boomstick. Dude, I love me boomstick. I love the double barrel shotgun. It's an HR2 on Tesla launcher. What? Ooh, that's for the berserker. That's awesome. Oh snap, the matriarch. There it is, Killing War 2, Perilous Plunder. What's this? Ooh, 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 what was that? What was that? Dude, that was awesome. I liked that, what is this? Uh, Man Eater, I need to check out Man Eater. That's another thing from Dribbler. Dude! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! I love that trailer, sweet. Great job on Tripwire. I'll be honest, I actually saw a bit of a bit of this while watching the PC gaming show. Yeah, I, well, I did a live reaction stream over the PC gaming show, and that's where I kind of saw a bit of what Tripwire was doing here with this killing for two summers. All right, so that was it. Hey, we just saw there. What did we see there? We saw a new skin for the Nutriarchs at the end there. Saw a bunch of skins, a pirate. Like skull, like beard, and the shark, shark head cosmetics. God, there's so, there's so many cosmetics you can see at the top here. Dude, I love this new weapon. Do wield in there. Just cool. The shark head. That's a new chance. All right, so that was that was the trailer. We saw all the new stuff there in the trailer, which is essentially everything there is that's new. If not anything else, so after reacting to this and checking all this out, I'm going to go in-depth like I always do. Like kind of like a playthrough in-depth of checking out all the new 
check out all the new weapons we saw there and I'll also check out all the new achievements too the seasonal achievements I'm trying to beat all the seasonal achievements like I usually do so this is a little different from how I usually do this but let's start reading down here after reading the trailer let's see what it says here in fast ye ye land rada ye ha it's like in fast ye land rada Land of us, the horizon team is happy to present to you, to present to you the seasonal fearless plunder update. Arg, yeah, <laughs> plunder update. Yes, I'm reading to you. I hope you guys are able to see it. Okay, it's screen. Yeah. Plunder update. Prepare yourselves to pour into the dark. Facilities of desolation. It look, yeah, I saw the new map in there also. You land on it with the helicopter. Start in the trailer. Facilities of desolation. Line it up and search for any clue about the patriarchs. Where's the patriarchs? I didn't see the patriarchs at all throughout that trailer. Also, loot with caution and test yourselves in the combat training room or firing range. Alongside this, we have some new weapons to introduce to everyone. God, I love the new weapons here. This is a, dude, there's a weapon for the Berserker. Uh, what's it called? That, uh, I forgot the name of it already. And there's one for the Delman too. Deuce to everyone. By courtesy of the Horizon. Horizon, like hor Horizon? Horizon? Is it Horizon or Horizon? <laughs> like Animal Crossing New Horizons? Yeah, funny. It's Horizon. Excuse me. I kind of see on the Horizon. Let's just finish reading this, alright? Yeah, let's finish reading this. Of course, the other horizon research group, we finished development of the HRG called Boomstick. Seriously, I love the Boomstick, the double barrel shotgun. Now there's an HRG one. HRG Boomstick. It's all what it did in that trailer. HRG Boomstick. Called Boomstick, excuse me. A Boomstick. And the HRG test launcher. The test launcher, that's what it's called. That's for the Berserker, I believe. <laughs> but that's not all. The Glock 18C and the Space Pirate favorite. And the Space Pirate favorite. The Blunderbuss will now be available for purchase. So you get the Glock 18C without the right shield. Well, I kind of like using it with the right shield, but now I can use it without it. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. But that's not all. The Glock 18 and the Space Pirate favorite, the space pirates. That's why they're wearing pirate outfits and everything pirate themed. Blunderbuss. What are they available for purchase? Use them to slay any scurvy zags. You'll find out there. Now, rise the Jolly Roger. Rise the Jolly Roger and let the plundering begin. Our event ends on. July 9th, 2020. So the event started on Monday, June 8th, 2020. And it ends on July 9th, 2020. So, yeah. Go check it out. Check out everything we just saw there. Oh, dude. Yeah, I love doing this. I love doing this. I love doing things like this. I'm going to go in depth and check out everything like I do. I'm going to go live and check out everything that, that's new in this event. I'm going to go in depth, further detail. I'll check out everything we just saw there when I go live and check out, you know, try and complete all the seasonal achievements like I do every year with Killing Floor 2 seasonal events. So this has been a little different from what I usually do. I usually, I'm usually in game when I check out all this stuff but when I do the overview, but now I'm doing it like this. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh, this is that new map. Oh, this is the new map. This is the new map. Excuse me. Okay. Huh. Excuse me. Okay. Huh. All right. All right. There you go. The new additions and highlights. Chill out, Alex. Let me relax here. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it is. Here. New additions and highlights. One new community map. It's a community map. Mm -hmm. They're not a community. They're leaving the communities to do all of it now. I guess. Desolation. Combatable with survival. Weekly versus survival and endless mode. In this game mode. Arg. Oh, you freaking lover lovers. Like, oh. Scurrying. Ah. Ah. Still scurrying. Like, I don't know. Something like that. What? <laughs> 
They tell you, excuse me, what the heck, you know, it's explore the secret bunker in the middle of the jungle and slay all the remaining Zeds inside its abandoned facilities. Arr! Inside the sea right here. Right here it says, inside its abandoned facilities. God, I hope you guys can read it just as I'm reading it to you guys. I guess if you go full screen, you can see what I'm talking about if you go in full screen as I read this. Ah, oh, here they are. Four new weapons. These are a Jinko Boomstick for the Demolitionists. That's for the Demolitionists? That's usually for the Support Specialists. So now the Support Specialist Shotgun? Made a shotgun for the Demolitionists. And the whatever that big barrel like gun I saw earlier is also for the Demolitionists. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I love it. I love it. Ooh, dude, I love it. <laughs> I like this weapon already, dude. Now it's for the demolitionist rather than for the support specialist. Called the Kaboom Stack. Kaboom, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> kaboom Stack. Yep, Kaboom Stack, my friends. Uh, let me just see something here. Hold on. What am I doing? Oh, I just want to turn something on the back. Oh, we see this nice kaboom stick here. Don't listen. It's our kaboom stick. And alternate. Oh, an alternation of the double barreled boom stick. See, I love the double barrel boom stick. See, and now it's like a for the demolition. That's awesome. Barrel boom stick. And fires explosive pellets. Every shot fires eight pellets with high spread. And each pellet creates an explosion. On contact! Arrgh. Ah! Alt fire shoots both barrels at once. If loaded, doubling the amount of explosions. Ooh. Yeah, just like the regular dull barrel shotgun. Dude, this is cool. I actually like to see. I like these alternative HRG weapons. It's like taking an existing weapon, and just like modifying what it, it usually normally does. Yeah, making it for a, another perk when it's usually from whatever perk it was originally for. I like that. Yeah. So, folks, so trader price is eleven hundred. Dosh. <laughs> I guess it's pretty pricey. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuse me. I'm getting these annoying ticks. Sometimes I guess when I get too excited, I get these really annoying ticks, but not like it. But, anyways, yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. It's RG. Ooh. Tez Launcher. The Tez Launcher. What the Bazaar. Arrgh. Dude. This thing is awesome. Hold on. Is this an old. Like, is this like the grenade launcher, but now made for the Berserker? Kind of like this HR2 test launcher. Oh, no. I see what the original gun was for this thing. The original gun, now it's just made for the... This is made for the Berserker now. Mm -hmm. An alternation of the... Yep, there it is. HM Tech 501 grenade rifle. Yep, I knew it. Grenade rifle. That fires microwave projectiles with its primary fire. Fire! <laughs> fire! Firing fire! For the alt fire, it launches EMP grenades that explode on contact. It serves as a useful tool for preservers in situations where it is dangerous to get near. Get near the enemy. Like facing against bloats, sirens, or asses. So wait, it's dangerous for you or dangerous for them? Hmm. Trader price is 1500 dosh. Dosh. 1500 dosh. Like right here. Trader price, 1500 dosh. Mm -hmm. ah. Yep. 1500 dosh. God, I hate these annoying. I get these random ticks. Excuse me. What? Ooh. I don't know. Various huh. reasons how good. They're just random. Like, I have no control of them. But anyway, besides that. Huh. Ooh, this? 
blunderbuss for the demolitionists and support. Mm. Dude, I'm seeing a lot of demolitionist weapons here. I honestly like this blunderbuss. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely like the blunderbuss. Oh yeah, I genuinely like the blunderbuss. This thing, look at it, man. Can I? <laughs> oh, what? Hey, can I go full screen on the entire weapon? Oh, I guess I can't go full screen like I did in game. You're only able to just see the pictures here. Hopefully you can see it. Well, I have to rewatch the video and see how well you can actually read what I am reading here. Otherwise, watch this video on full screen. And you should probably be able to read what I'm reading to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that should work. Excuse me. Yeah, this blunderbuss. Well, here, this is a paid DLC weapon. This weapon can be shared amongst players through our weapon sharing system. The blunderbuss is a close to medium range firearm that utilizes a flintlock mechanism to fire explosive cannonballs. I like that. With the primary fire or cannonball shrapnel with the alt fire. The cannonballs are heavy balls. Heavy balls like balls like okay, sorry, not those cannonballs like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're good. Can I just blows up on you? Like goes into your mouth. <laughs> It blows you up like, oh, like it's a freaking boat. I don't know. What am I saying? In my own imagination. Excuse me. Whatever. That is funny. Sprint shrapnel. Wait, I think I lost where I was reading. Shrapnel with alt fire. I think I lost where I was reading this. Pay DLC and most players to weapon theory. One of us is a close to medium range firearm to utilize flintlock mechanism to fire explosive cannonballs with the primary fire or cannonball shrapnel with the alt fire. Oh, shrapnel with the alt fire. See, the cannonballs are heavy balls. They're heavy balls. There it is. <laughs> heavy balls. <laughs> the heavy balls. And they will not explode while a player holds down the primary fire. Mm. So you can like hold it down for as long as I go to get close to someone. Boom. Right in the face. Ooh, I think you can like <laughs> headshots. Like someone comes around the corner and then boom. You just... Ooh, like just, ah, blow them up when they get too close to you. <laughs> oh, I like that. God, I hate when I do that. Excuse me. Alright, excuse me. The primary fire says hold down the primary fire. The kind of all shrapnel has a high spread and each shrapnel can pierce through scents and bounce off the environment. Trader price is fifteen hundred dosh. Single and dual Glock 18C for the Gunslinger. It's pretty cool that you can actually dual wield these without the riot shield. Okay, you used to carry this weapon with the riot shield. <laughs> now you can get this weapon without, without, without the riot shield. Well, it's pretty cool that you can get this now without the riot shield. I guess you get it with or without the right shield now <laughs> yeah it's a pretty cool weapon this is a pretty neat weapon and then it's of course it's yeah this is dlc like i will be getting both of these dlc weapons that way i'll get the blunderbuss and the glock 18 <laughs> Yeah, this is a free DLC weapon. This weapon is going to be shared amongst players through our weapon sharing system. This is right here, dual. Look at this tooth. The way it looks. Wish I could zoom in on it and just make it bigger, but through our weapon sharing system, it is equipped with a suppressor and can be dual wielded. A single Glock 18C is a fully automatic pistol with two fire modes, single and automatic. The dual variant, the dual variant only has the full auto fire mode. 
Trader Price is seventeen fifty. Trader Price is seven fifty. Dosh for a single and fifteen hundred dosh for the dual variant. So seven fifty for a single and fifteen hundred dosh for the dual variant. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's all the weapons and new math and everything. One new boss skin, Nitrate Summer Seasonal Event, very gonna sell that. Dashful Editions, it's a little I'm not even, I don't know if I'm gonna read all this. Tomagon, MK, uh, B428 Volt Stars, it's a Tech 101 Pistol Volt Stars, it's a Tomagon, Boot Stick, and 99 Volt Stars, there it is, new Steam Achievements, yep. Gotta check out all those, all those are, of course. Desolation in its collectibles, time limit objectives, tickets and cosmetics, seasonal objectives related to desolation. So there's seasonal objectives for desolation? Is there a seasonal mode? Wait, is there an objective mode? I did not see. Okay, I did not see. I did not see an objective mode for this. No, I didn't. I didn't see an objective mode. Maybe there is an objective mode for this. I'm not even told. It didn't say, did it say there was an objective mode? Desolation and its um, collectibles. A time, oh, a time limited objectives. Time limited objectives, tickets, and cosmetics. <laughs> seasonal objectives related to desolation. Complete all seasonal objectives to earn the space monkey, space monkey backpack. That's hilarious. I gotta see what that looks like when I go again to check out all the seasonal achievements. Like I always do, but did a little different this time. Summer Side Show Prize Ticket. Summer Side Show Golden Prize Ticket. Yep. Yeah. Economy. Blunderbuss we oh, Weapon Bundle. Blunderbuss Weapon Bundle. Clock Two Weapon Bundle. Perilous. Oh, Perilous Plunder Weapon Bundle. Space Fire Outfit Bundle. Space Fire Full Gear Bundle. Premium Summer Side Show Ticket Bundles. Come in three. And sets of tears, bronze, silver, gold, like five, three, and I don't know if I'm gonna read all these because, to be honest, I'd rather go in game and check out everything that's new rather than read about it in the patch notes. See, I don't read patch notes because I'd rather experience it and see it for myself in game rather than read about it. See, one, you can choose to read about it, or two, you can choose to just see it for yourself in game rather than just. Still all the time reading about it. I'd rather see it in game, not read about it. That's why I don't bother reading the password because I'll find out as I'm playing the game. I don't want to waste my time reading it, reading about it. I want to actually see it in game, then read about it. Like, <laughs> like, well, okay, I'll then I did scroll down and read a lot of this stuff, but you're more than welcome to read it yourself. Of course. Yeah. You could read a lot of this stuff down here. It's like, I'll just. Just gonna skim through it. Beyond, ooh, there's a weapon skin bundle pack. Beyond MKB2 weapon skin bundle. Excuse me. Yeah. Bundle pack. I noticed there's always something in my mouth every time when I'm recording. I noticed in the video, it's like, ugh. Why don't I ever notice that? It's disgusting. I think you guys see that. Sorry about that. I don't know. Maybe it's just spit in my mouth or something. Sorry. Very, excuse me for that. Well. Nasty. Let the skin bundle back. As I notice after recording, and I'm like, oh, jeez, what do I notice as I'm recording? Retro Neon Gear Cosmetic Bundle here. The future Neon Gear Cosmetic Bundle. Those are cosmetic bundles. I like the pirate skins and everything. Reminder, since the usual comes up during update releases, the database update for the ticket drops and setting up Steam Islands for sale will occur at approximately 1 p.m. EDT after all the patches go out in order to verify that the patches are just displayed across platforms. I'm sure that's already happened across community feedback. As mentioned in the 2018 Killing Horror 2 state of the game, our goal is to bring to the community continu con continued stream of QOL changes for each update throughout the year. Please continue to report any QOL changes you believe should be added to the game by submitting your feedback in the general section on our official forums at uh, yeah, forums, driftwireinteractive.com. 
Yeah. It's cool that the president of Tripwire <laughs> visited the PC gaming show. Yeah, when it was happening, just <laughs> he didn't mention the seal. Of course, I saw in the PC gaming show. I saw without this. Yeah, now you probably have an idea how long ago I haven't really checked this out until like I've been wanting to check this event out. Like since it came out on June 8th. But here I am checking out whenever I am as I'm recording this. But yeah, I'm not gonna say when exactly, but yeah, just skip tra oh there you can skip trader vote or improvements. You can skip the trader now. See, it's a vote system now. A vote system similar to the player kick system is implemented for skipping trader time. When one player initiates the skip trader, it appears as a vote for the rest of the team. That, that's, yeah, that's pretty neat. I mostly never really skip. I almost never skip. Because, hey, I'm in the trader here. And when it's trader time, it's trader time. I use the trader time as much as I'd like to decide and get everything. Like, I don't need to be rushed to freaking skip it. I'll skip, I'll skip when I want to skip. So, really, rest of the teams, it just kind of sucks that when someone's trying to buy someone and then everyone skips and like, oh, what the freak, man, I'm trying to buy someone here. I think that's a downside to this voting thing, but man, that could happen to anyone, so. Uh, I don't know, you shouldn't be rushed. You should use that time to get what you need and when it's over, but, eh. I get when some people want to skip the gun skip the lot or choose not to skip something you here's as a vote for the rest of the team. That's still pretty neat though that you can do that now. Healing UI improvements. Players' health bars will now display an additional bar that represents the amount of health you healed over time. There's balance, weapons, seeker six, max ten, own pressure, added new damage sources that the weapon can block. You can read the stuff yourselves, you know? Yeah, you guys, you guys can, I'll let you guys read this. Lesser Therians, Udar Rocket Therians, Udar Trapper Beam, Natrons, Tesla Blast. Oh, there's a Tesla launcher, right? The Tesla launcher for the Berserker, and the Natrons has a Tesla Blast. Oh? How's that? That's pretty cool. Perks, Berserker, level 25, Zentime, Berserker Rage. Why am I reading this stuff when I said it wasn't going to? Yeah, fear does not cause Zets to flee anymore, and now I'll mobilize them. See, I'd rather see this stuff in game rather than read about it, but for some reason, I'm choosing to read about it. Survivalist, level 25, Zentime, Lockdown. So, whatever I don't read here, you guys can read yourself. Of course you can. Sure you can. Anyone can just pull this up and start reading it. But yeah. Level 25 Zen time lockdown survivalist knockdown and stumble rate modifiers have been removed. The perk will still skill now allows all weapons to stun Zed with a high fixed stun rate during that time. See, I would have still found that out if I actually played a survivalist in game. You know, regardless whether I read that or not. So I'd rather actually play the game and see it for myself rather than just read about it. I don't want to sit here and read that. I'd rather see it in game than read about it. Ugh. But I know that some people would rather read about it before they actually go game and see it. But either way, everyone's different with that. So, eh, that's how that's just new. But, yeah, melee damage boost increased from 50% to 75 for level 10 melee expert. For some violence, field medic, little 15 acidic round damage over time. Over time, the end is increased like, ooh, 30%. This is all here, designer note from the skip trader for in improvements. We implemented the system using elements from this player, the player kick system to make the process of skipping the trader easier and clearer for players. Yeah, because you literally had to like hit the, hit a key below the skip key just to be able to like, Skip no, you had to literally pause the game, go to the, the main menu or something and and just click on skip trader. You had to do it that way. I'm like, what? But well, now it's like a, a voting skip thing is like voting, like like you're kicking someone. I didn't go into the pause menu and just go into skip trader, you know? That's different now. Still need the next ten to I would read all this but Folk Pressure has updated to improve the defensive capabilities against EDARs and the Matrix. I read that already. Yeah, I read it up, like, up here. See, here it is. Like, there it is again. Folk Crusher over here. EDARs and Matrix. Puzzle Class. 
This is all just notes, not anything I just read. Fog sticks is. Don't really care. I mean, the reason I don't read patch notes because I mean, don't get too used to it. You know, I mean, the game will be patched. It's not like everything that the way the game is lasts forever. Nothing is set in stone in the game. Everything in the game eventually changes. That's why they send pen, they send patch after patch after patch. So don't get used to the way things are. That's why. That's another reason why I, I just don't care about the meta games because the game gets patched and. Whatever the so-called metagame is, it changes all the time, so don't care. It changes. I'm just playing the game enjoying it for what it is, but yeah, all right. All the weapons here, blah, blah, blah. It's our Jinkaloo shit. I went to check that out. See, they're just, this is stuff that's changed. Tultarizer, Blunderbuss. You guys can read this yourselves. I'll let you do that. I'll leave that up to you guys. All the cosmetics, Dragon, and Cloak Pulverizer. Ah, oh, that's just Kuma Clover. I like the Kuma Clover. Uh, user interface that changed it. Oh, fixed an issue in the trainer menu where the weapon damage bar would reflect the previously selected weapon and not the current selection. Localization. Polished Japanese English. Fixed the number of strings in French. Oh, this is like But as always, thank you for your continued support. You're welcome, Tripwire, and thank you for all of these seasonal events you do. I love checking them out, but that's my niche. So, there you have it, guys. Yeah, that's everything that's new in this event. As an overview now, I'm going to go in depth. And when I go live, a live stream, I'm going to go in depth and check out everything that's new that we just saw here as an overview. Everything we just saw here as an overview, like the like Glock 18C, the Blunderbuss, HRG Tesla Launcher, HRG Boomstick, and the new map, one new community map, that's the Desolation. It's like an air park kind of thing. It's compatible for survival weekly versus survival endless game loads, yeah. So it's not objective, but for some reason I saw the word objective in there. I'd like to see some new objective maps, but yeah, they were fun. Slide a secret bunker in the middle of the jungle and slay all the remaining zeds inside its abandoned facility. I'm pretty sure I already read that. Yeah, and I remember reading it. We got four new weapons, one new map called Desolation, and this sweet update trailer. Yeah, it's a pretty cool. So there you have it. That's Killing Floor 2 Summer Season event, Perilous Blender. Go check it out while you can before July 9th, 2020. So, like I said, the event ends on. Right here, event ends 7-9-2020, July 9th, 2020. That's when the event ends, it started more. So if you haven't played it yet, hopefully you played it before I even did this overview summary, but I usually try to get to summary, I usually try to get to these types of videos that I do as soon as the video, as soon as the event comes out, but yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to do, so yeah, it's cool. I like the stuff in the background here. Good Lord, Lord, do for Alice Wonder. Summer 2020 update. Oh, yeah. Live. Ah. So that's it, everyone. Yeah, that's it. That's it for this. That's it for this video. So, yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. All right, everyone. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Let's see here. Oops. Hold on. Crap. Don't even see that. Oh, I could just do this. Why do I ever do this? Weird, I never moved my computer screen to do this. Instead, like, literally moving. Like, wow, I could have always done this. Not with my old monitor. Well, anyway, let's get to the point here. All right. So, yeah. All right. That's it for Killing Floor 2 Summer Seasonal Event. Oh, Perilous Plunder. Go check it out when you can before it's over by July 9th, 2020. I'm going to certainly go in live. Go live and... Go in depth, checking out all the new stuff we just saw, saw there. Uh, as an overview, summary, through the trailer and everything, a reaction. And yeah, I'm going to check out all the new seasonal events, trying to unlock them all and all that like I do every year in seasonal events. So, yeah, can't wait to do that. So yeah, go check that out yourself, guys. Oh yeah, so yeah, all right. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. You can, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below. Yeah, if you like that, you can take a face and rock it up. You're like, fine, like, oh. <laughs>
Or you could just slap it in such a naughty like one. Oh, it's such a naughty one. Oh, it's so naughty. Oh, naughty like one. Like, oh, just slap it. Slap that naughty like one. Oh, water. Ah, what? Well, just will they do it? Just, 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 just hit the leg one. If you like it, I need to chill out. I need to relax here. <sighs> yes, just hit the leg one. If you like the video, it's all up to you. You know, poke it, twist it. You know, give it a thermal verbal or you know, poke it. Let's just slap it. What? Whatever. Just anything like it. Anyway. Oh yeah. Or if you like to see more from me. Or in my other videos, like see me do more of what I did here, or seasonal event videos, reaction videos, or reaction seasonal videos combined, which I did here. Last one I did was like Overwatch, but I've always done this with Killing Floor 2, but I've done it a little differently. You want to check out my older videos of Killing Floor 2, you can do that if you'd like. So yeah, if you'd like to check out everything, or see more from me of everything I just said, you can subscribe. It's really all up to you. If you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe. It's all up to you. Really, it's all up to you. Yeah. So, yeah. And with that said, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye.